Karen? I'm in place. I can see the whole camp. Let me know if you need anything. Be careful, Sean. Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. But first, let me take a selfie. Hey guys, my name is Scraps and today we are playing Life is Strange 2. We are turning off, uh, turning on licensed music this time. Let's get this over with. So we won't have to sit in silence all day, right? Right behind the church, so in and out. So. Okay. And you sure Lisbeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Oh, shit. How many? Just three. A man with his kid on one side, and a woman alone on the other. Got it. Thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better but there's a playground. There literally is a playground over there. Come on. Oh yeah, there is a woman over there. Call Karen if you're walking by holding Q on the left mouse button. Karen. Everything alright? Yeah, don't worry about me. I found the best hiding spot. The view is kind of great. Cool. Be careful, though. You never know. Thanks, Sean. I will. So, let's, uh... Sorry, Reverend. You won't be hiding behind that cross for much longer. Hey, Sean, we can't go in there now. Oh, okay. Is over there. Which way? <sighs> right. Sorry. I think we best go over to the right side. As far as the woman is concerned, we are just two people walking by. She won't notice anything. Right? So... Did you grow up out of here? No, in another community back east. When I see. When came out here to start Haven Point, my folks followed her and brought me along. Hmm. Must have been hard on you. Kinda. Eight-year-olds don't want to go to church all day. Yeah, I can imagine that, yeah. However, there's more to do than just church life, isn't there? think so. Hmm. Did I forget anything? Any introduction? No, I did say I'm Scraps and we're playing Life is Strange 2. I mentioned all that. However, what I guess I okay. didn't say. There it is. Looks empty. <sighs> Let's hope so. Looks Probably empty, door. really? A closed door is a closed heart, she says. And then it's locked. No, it's yeah, actually not. Really lives in this depressing house. Oh, we did it. Now we have a little bit more time. Yes, we do. Nice work. So where are the files? Right there, in her office. Oh. Which obviously is locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. We gotta find a way. Ah, uh, just the front door, I'm guessing. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's too. Cautious not to have a spare set around. Well, we can just barge in, of course. Whoa. Are you okay, Jake? Yeah. Yeah, no. It, it's just so full of memories and stuff. Whoa. This place is worse than army camp. Daniel household duties, huh? Alright, he's got a lot to do always, apparently. Get Daniel his favorite cereal. Definitely. The moat and the bean. What does it say? What does it say? New morning family practice. John Robert M. D. Suite 254, with Blue Jay Lane, Sparks, Nevada. Phone number. Patient name, Lisbeth Fisher, prescription, antibiotics for yeast infection, 250 mg twice daily, Advil for stress or anxiety, 0.5 grams once daily as needed, refills allowed, Dr. Signator, John Robert, MD. Alright. 
So what's over here? We already went this way, but then I decided like no. Mm. Might be enough to open that door. Let's look for alternatives that are a little bit more quiet. This is a lot of pills. Especially for someone who doesn't believe in science. Well, you know what they say. Daniel's haircut makes much more sense now. Hey, can you please help look for everything? Nice prison view, dude. I swear, even her bed looks stern. Sean, is everything all right in there? Uh, yes. We're trying to get into her office. She's locked it up, so it has to be there. We'd appreciate that, thanks. We'll probably end up having to hide in the closet okay. or something. What the? She's completely obsessed with his power. Daniel tired of using gift. Nothing gives him energy after. New diet. He acts on his own. Scripture won't impel him. More prayer, more study. Daniel pouted today after lesson. Spared rod and spoiled the child. Not yet. Must show grace. Trust in the Lord. I did cry today watching the miracles. The child must be a vassal. But will he deliver unto us? And when? Hmm. Glad you never found Max then. Yeah. That will definitely explain what's going on with Daniel. Miracles, where do they come from and what do they mean? Don't get the same mistake again. The read button doesn't open the book. Oh, shit. Looks like the Reverend Mother got to this letter before Jake. Jacob, thank you so much for telling me about Daniel. I'm on my way to Haven Point now and please let Daniel know, without getting him or you in trouble, that his family has not forgiven, forgotten him. I don't know where Sean is and I hope we can find him too. I hope the best for you and if you need anything, do not hesitate to ask for help. I'm there. Thanks, Karen. Check in. Hey. I found your letter for Jacob. Too bad Lisbeth found it first. She took it from the mail? Damn that woman. Yeah. She checks everything that comes and goes into the community. Awesome. Now what do we have here? Some key. Okay. I found A weird texture okay. glitch. Let's try it. No, I want to look at her. What a great fucking family portrait. Perfect drawing, don't you think? She sure likes to gaze at her own success. Former uprising church pastor ha finds Haven Point. Haven Point Church gains in popularity. Whoa, they kicked her out of church? Now they're thirsty. Dear Reverend Fisher, this is Michael Bloom, and I know it's been a long time since we last talked, and I know that our talk was not a happy one. Despite our differences, we all knew you were a devout spirit to be reckoned with. Nobody has been surprised by your words and deeds touching so many people. I hope you believe it when I say we are all proud of you. But we are also sorry and ashamed for asking you to leave the church without understanding the power of your faith. As we need to remind ourselves, mistakes can be life lessons. Even prideful deacons should be humbled before the Lord's wisdom. We hope you find it in your heart to forgive us and would be honored to host you for a visit anytime you wish. Bless you, Michael. No oh, religion like always, huh? Don't see anything of interest. Is this Daniel's room? Yeah. Must be. Man. It's depressing. Well, Lisbeth doesn't believe in material possessions, so... Doesn't mean you need to decorate your house like a prison. What's in Daniel's closet? His sweater? At least he didn't throw it away. Well, that's lucky. Pick it up. I don't know why we Petty pick it up, but... It back. Once he's out of this mess. Oh, the blanket. At least he had a memory from home. And that's all. He looks happy. 
That's a pretty oh. nice picture. I can't believe I missed it. Happy birthday, Daniel. Yeah, happy birthday. Yes. Perfect. That's now that's a quiet way of getting in. Whoa. Is this her personal archive or something? Yeah. She keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, well, something. really, on the first Not try. You're looking for. That's yeah. impressive. On the first try, you already have something, yeah. huh? And for what I get, Lisbeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. Look, she has a file on you, too. You can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock. Man, what's all this? I'm guessing you don't want to know, huh? Sick? Conversion therapy? Do they... wanted to cure you from... being... Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. Oh! Thought I was a freak, a sinner. Is that why you ran away? Is you or is it not? Away? Yep. <laughs> Took me five years to understand what was up. I was too scared, confused. I really did believe I was a sinner, so I thought I had to atone for my sins. Well, what sins? Um, well, we know what sins, and, so... Uh, how did that go? Not good. I just prayed all the time and stopped hanging out with boys, girls, everybody. I got depressed, paranoid. Damn, Jake. After a few years... I was in a really bad place. I I tried to hurt myself. Elizabeth you know, this is really so not the right place to talk about any of this, right? You are breaking into someone's property. Go see the world. Get out. Get things out. I, I don't really get her, Sean. But Elizabeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd, I'd found my faith again. Instead, I, I just heard him. Let's make this right. Let's make things right. We just have to get Daniel out of here. Easy, right? And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. I hope they'll help her. They definitely will. Keep my money. money. For your sister. She needs it. Oh, I, I can't do that. Sure. You have to. That, that, that's a lot of... We're okay. It will cover her medical bills. Wow. Thank you, Sean. What's up? You got company. That thug who works for Elizabeth. He's just holding some files. Doesn't seem to be on to you. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Hey, trust me. I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. Let's go. Yeah. See what you can do. I will. Get ready. Sean, we gotta hide. Now. Let's hide in the closet. Hurry up. This seems to have been the wrong place. Come on, Sean, we need to hide. I'm already hiding, dude. Man, if he finds us here, we're screwed. What are you 
Hide in the cupboard then. Um, maybe not. Open the window. Can't. Huh? All right, I guess we'll hide in here. So you are literally just standing by the door, huh? Tell Elizabeth about this. Nothing's missing, man. Don't worry. How are you not seeing him? Keep looking. You've almost called me. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Uh, what? what the fuck is going on? Oh. Thanks. Do you think it's got to be Karen? Oh. He's gone. Let's get out of here. What did Karen do? Man, that was crazy. Oh wait, really can we check this? Things? Apparently we can check this. I didn't know. <gasps> Daniel. The fuck? What is it? I think that's the file Nicholas had. Take a look. What? Is she trying to adopt Daniel? Exactly. And she's doing it under the table, of course. Man. Okay. We shouldn't be here. Are you they didn't check the laptop. Is she actually scared of me? Fellow members, I am sending you this message as a warning that the church may have a disturbed stalker who claims to be Daniel's brother. He's a Mexican teenager with one eye between 16 and 18 who calls himself Sean. Do not engage him in any way if you happen to spot him. Do not call the police. Alert me or Nicholas at once. He must not be allowed near Daniel or an any other members of the church. I pray I have not alarmed you, but we have a responsibility to protect ourselves from any outside threat. Bless you all for your faith, love and strength, Reverend Fisher. Better get Daniel out of here before she gets too much attention. Uh, billboards, huh? All right. She's running a typed ship here. Behold the angel Daniel. What's in the drawer? I don't think there's anything worth a look in here. I don't think so either. We have to hurry though. This might be timed. Seattle shooting ignites protests. And of course she has. Seriously? How can she ignore that? Dear Reverend Fisher, I hope you will forgive what I must feel like an intrusion into your church and beliefs, but I have a great respect for you, what you've built over the past decade. I have no doubt the Lord has chosen you for a reason. I am a long-time personal member friend of the Hackermans, including their precious daughter, who has had too long a time of illness. Blessedly, there is some medical help available that her family has, however, denied due to your advice. They see her pneumonia as a spiritual problem that only you can solve through prayer. While I believe that is partially true, I believe that we have to work with the miracles provided by Madison. I hope you can see the severity of the situation as I feel some personal responsibility for Sarah Lee and her family, who are devout people. I'd like to talk next week, if possible, and hear your take on this matter. I hope you are not offended by my outreach. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Sincerely, Reverend Oliver Grand. Alright. Anything else in here? I can't believe this type of shit still happens today. Secretive, refused to compete in sports, etc. Shows little interest in girls, questions the scriptures. Jacob feels the same. 
Oh, feel shame. I feel the Lord working through me to save Jacob from himself and the temptations of sin. I have told his parents that he must attend daily prayer sessions with me until we have cast out his confusion. This is a test of my faith and it will not fail him or Jacob. Oh, what happened shit. to Daniel in Seattle? Why did Daniel tell her so much? Does anybody else know what he can do? Search for any living relatives. Daniel personality traits, missing mother, likes to be creative, build things, trains his gift regularly. Doesn't remember everything or doesn't want to. Pouts too much. Spoiled. Misses old friends. Noah. Lila. Likes to watch my sermons. Mumbles in his sleep. Loves choco crisps. Today T Daniel told me about his layover in Beaver Creek, Oregon. He was hiding out at his grandparents and made friends with another boy like him. Chris or Chris? Of course he wanted to stay. Christy. Of course. Definitely. The police showed up, but Daniel wasn't clear about what happened next. I know he's holding back, but the Holy Spirit will free him from his sins of omission. I knew this guy was sketchy, but... John oh. Nicholas Bowen, incarcerated in Salt Lake City, 1997-2008, still has contacts among white gangs, strong faith, but never read the Bible. Former meth addict, sensitive topic, inclined to pride. Three teenagers robbed liquor store, owner shot dead. Dear Elizabeth, I found your address in my jacket this morning and remembered how I ended in this motel room last night with a meal in my stomach and a warm light in my chest. I can't thank you enough for what you did. Your kind and patient words pulled me out of a downward spiral I've been falling in for weeks. If I remember correctly, you said you were looking for hands to help you build a community. I guess. Anything else we can find? Bibles. Does she read anything else? Of course. You've already seen another book. Alright, time to go out. Careful! Look at that. <laughs> Your mom is hardcore, Sean. Yeah. I guess she is. How did that even happen? I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Then let's meet up at the car, okay? All right. You be careful, okay? Question remains, where is Daniel? Good luck. Karen. Karen. Come in, Karen. See anything? No, you're all clear. Awesome. Talk later. Where do I go to get Daniel? I guess he must be in the church, huh? Where even is Karen hiding? So you know what you're gonna do? No. Oh, there you are. Well, let's do it. Oh Lord, let your power speak through this young vessel. I am your humble Sean. servant and will obey what the hell your is this? every command. Speak to me. It's Daniel. Speak. I told you, he's kind of special. Hey. Sean! You came back? Enano, little cub. Come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. I'm sorry, Sean. I can't. She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me, and you'll be family. Never. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary right now. Not without my brother. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel, listen. She's not your family. Sean, who is she? Oh. Uh, she came here. For you. Oh, praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Wonderful. Uh, it's all right. You can't Daniel. stop your sarcasm, you know. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... Uh, I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. 
That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you. How could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Where? Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. I feel like this is going wrong. We're blessed with a divine And I have nothing I can do against it. And you cast him out into the world. Let's the poke the hungry bear. He might have been his mother once, but when you abandoned him, you also gave up your rights. Isn't your God all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Daniel, honey, she's trying to trick you. Please think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Daniel, she's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but I hope we can talk about this together. Too late. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother, and I'm so glad he listened. You gotta trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. Are you going to believe her or me? I... Uh, I... That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family. And we'll never leave him. Go to hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Oh! Holy shit. I told you this was going Ray, bad. Are you okay? Nicholas, they're, they're heretics sent to desecrate our, our church. Okay, what now? Don't you understand? This is over, uh, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sarah Lee, she's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She won't do this that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. Does he? A minister warned her. She went to the doctor, not a real Christian. Faith in yourself. What to choose? I know. She went to see doctors for herself when she was in pain. She never waited for a miracle when she was in danger. What? Is that... Is that true? Reverend Mother? Have faith in me, Daniel. I know what I'm doing. God is speaking to me and to you. So she's adopting you, kicked out of church. Toxic community, this is no place for you. Let's go with she this one. Was kicked out of her previous church. Yeah, they knew she was crazy. So she left and founded Haven Point. Why would they do that? Did she do something wrong? Liar! I left on my own because they were all blind. Don't believe his lies, Daniel. Um. Homework? What would that say? No, that wouldn't be effective. Neither would this one. I found a letter from Karen, her mother, inside her house. 
She hid it from you. So you never know. She's looking for you. What? You told me she didn't want to see me. Uh, see what you have done? Hey, Inano. Uh, back off. No one is going to keep me away from you. I said stop! <sighs> Well, the church is on fire. Let's get up. I came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need. Uh, Sean! He must learn. Oh, well, that's lovely. Drilling. At this Listen, time. Really? I did my best job to be a good brother. And I know I probably failed. I took you for granted. I put you in danger. And I'm sorry. Sure. Don't listen to him. He, he left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Don't hit him. <clears throat> Don't let them do that, Daniel. <sighs> Daniel. Come on, Daniel. Could go back in time, I would the fire is insane. In Seattle. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie, because we would always fight about it. And he always Sounds like brothers to me. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anno. Stop it. So we have to keep going no. forward. What are you going to kill him? Please. He's my brother. You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. We won't give up, Cowan. Don't worry. This church is on fire and Nothing. we keep going. It's going to stop me. Listen to him. And we get up. We get kicked down, beaten down. But we won't give up. Stop. No matter what she does. I'll come right back. Again. And again. <laughs> He's going to try shoot Sean, won't he? Sean. Do it! Shoot! Don't! Go ahead. What? Shoot me in the face. And live with it. No! Daniel. Stop! Now that's a good one. Kevin has the gun. Daniel! Sean! I'm sorry. Now we have to get out of here real quick. The church is burning. I thought she was someone else. I'm sorry. Sean, we need to get out of here. Now. We should save those two though. No. Sean has the gun. Oh no. I see. No. You started this fire. You will all burn in this hell. Daniel? Move. Let us go. Move it. You won't leave this place. Not with me alive. We can just ask Daniel. <laughs> and I feel like I should. There's no point in threatening someone weak. Open the door, Inan. Daniel, after all I did for you, you can still repent. I don't believe you anymore! Uh. 
Oh my. Well, Daniel didn't kill her, so that's good. Thanks, Daniel. Goodbye, Reverend. We are out of here. She seems to want to save her church, huh? Well, you can easily rebuild it, come on. No, oh, the fire! We've done a good job, I think. Kellen, stop smoking! One of your problems, can't you see? I guess you can't, huh? short episode bring it on
And so we finally managed to get by the credit scene. We passed one of the tests, 59%. Failing both is apparently pretty hard, huh? Passing both is also fairly difficult, and I must admit, I do agree. You told Agent Flores the robbery was Finn's ID, 75%, which is the truth, obviously. You told Agent Flores the robbery was everyone's choice, 20%. Mm. Your ID, 5%, the people who try to be noble, but they don't gain anything from it. You attacked the guards to escape the harp hospital. We could have attacked Joey instead or convinced Joey, although convincing Joey was extremely difficult. And I don't think I tried, honestly. Finn wasn't at the hospital, 8%. What? <laughs> that was an option? I wonder how. I guess Finn getting killed, huh? You talked to Finn and blamed him for what happened in Humboldt. You talked to Finn and forgave him for what happened. So a lot of people didn't talk to him and a lot of people just forgave him. And only his spare few had managed to get him out or not in the hospital or just blame him. You broke Daniel's toy while taking it back from Chad. You sang the song in Spanish. Well, I think that's still better than getting beat up. You were not asked to sing a song, 14%. How does that work? I guess by not trying to take the toy back, maybe? You got into Anton's truck to reach Haven Point, 90%. Oh, 10% walked, huh? You gave money to the church. You didn't give money to the church, 67%. Yeah, I figured why. Why would we? Overall, you tried to let Karen open up to you. You cut the conversation short with Karen. You were hard on Karen during the conversation. Kind of tried being hard, kind of not, I guess. We didn't stay outside with Karen. It's the minority, it seems. 9%, as opposed to most people smoking a cigarette with Karen. Mm. You accepted Karen's help to clean up your wound. No, I did not. I refused it. No need Karen's help. Nicholas was unaware of your presence, 59%. Somehow, we managed, huh? You shared your money with Jacob, 54%. And you managed to hide from Nicholas, 68%. Apparently, it's also an option to get caught. You shot Lisbeth while Daniel wasn't hurting her. You let Daniel unleash his power on Lisbeth while he was hurting her. Oh. I didn't know that's possible. While he was hurting her. What? You and Daniel both spared Lisbeth's life. You shot Lisbeth while Daniel was hurting her. I see. I think it's good that we didn't. We survived. And so it's on to the next episode. And this is it. We made it, Daniel. What do we do now? Make our way across. You ready? Yeah. I think. Well, that seemed kind of short. Did I do something by accident? I don't think so. Seems we're on to the last episode, though. As far as I know, there's only five. The last one's called Wolves. What a surprise. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and enter the notification bell in order to be notified whenever a new video comes out. Leave a comment in the comment box below to share your thoughts and feelings. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about the game. Let me know what you think about the commentary. Let me know what you think about everything else related to YouTube and this video and this game and you know. Or say something completely different. I don't know. It's up to you. I'll read it, obviously. And have a good time. Share this video with friends and family while you read it. It would help me out tremendously. And, you know, I always go crazy when I say that sharing part. So share this video with people who have a fence around their house. 
Shed is video of people who don't have a fence around their house. Shed is video with people who have a fe fence on top of their house. And ask them why it's there. Nobody ever goes onto a roof, right? <laughs> of course not. That would be insane. And dangerous. Alright, as for now, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video. Goodbye!